Ooh la la, indeed. <laughs> hey, pal. <laughs> hey, oh my god! Oh well, my god, this is like a celebrity cameo. I thought it was like someone from Asylum Wrestling Store. He means Dan the Man, our musical genius. How are you, sweetheart? Wow. It's good to see you. <laughs> well, good to virtually see you, sweetheart. What's going on? Oh, um, I had to get my mug. <laughs> and, oh my god, you're representing. Bravo, my bravo, my dear. That is very, very gorgeous of you. Gorgeous. I like to make sure I get the gorgeous ladies a plug. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good. Uh I haven't seen you in quite some time. Uh I've been very busy, so well, listen, the, the life of a musical genius must be very, very time-consuming. If you guys want to know if you're watching here or on replay, Dan the Man is our official, unofficial slash official, uh, I would say a musical background, really, of our show. He's been doing tons of uh, uh, melodies for us on God TV. That's Grown Ass Women TV. Seen every Wednesday at 5 p.m. on YouTube. And, Dan, you have been so wonderful to support us. Thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, thank you, indeed. Um, I know uh, I did one today, actually, to promote. So I did uh, a Jurassic Park style. So I spared no expense. <laughs> yeah, are we so excited about Jurassic Park? I can't wait. Yeah. So excited. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's nostalgic, isn't it? It's like it's like the original cast mixed with a new version, which I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. I mean, I say huge. I mean, I'm a little bit obsessed. And living in Orlando, where we have Universal Studios, which has a Jurassic Park area oh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah it's it's very serious we're not kidding around yeah i um i just did a cosplay as dennis nedry from jurassic park so uh dotson we got dotson here we got yeah yeah <laughs> no one cares no one cares <laughs> nobody cares Gucci, mommy, dotson. <laughs> we uh i did that and they actually had a jurassic park jeep at the con Get and out. so some people thought i came with the car and i'm like no, I just I just happened to be dressed, but um, Did they you had the loading dock. Did you it, Dan, and like get photo ops? I, I had a lot. Um, it was funny because someone was dressed as Doctor Hammond, so um, <gasps> so we had like uh, that interaction, and then they had the loading dock sign, and I was you know spinning the wheel and everything, and I was pulling the cable. So some people thought it was actually like part a little bit of a flashback of the movie but um people really seem to enjoy it and uh i got a kick out of it <laughs> well you know what dan you're, you're such a treasure and we always get a kick out of all your uh, musical uh melodies and i'll tell you, you know what's funny is um i was at a showmasters comic con in london and you know how, like when you do a comic con like they'll have you go to like a photo op area where it's like it's a professional photo op studio Right. And so I don't know what alternate universe this was in. I'm a, I'm on no level the same as this legendary person. But Sam Neill was finishing oh, wow. his photo op before <laughs> mine, and I kind of was like, "Oh!" And I looked, and I was like, Ugh. "And I wanted to say hello, but I was too nervous. I never said anything. I just saw he like he said hello and kind of smiled at me, and I was like, "Ugh!" And that was it. <laughs> Such a nerd. Uh. I'm actually going to Comic Con tomorrow, so I am packing up uh, my little nerd on a backpack and everything, and ready to go. I'm going to uh, see Tiffany tomorrow from the '80s, the pop singer. <laughs> like, like the Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Like, as if you and I could be alone, and I would say, "I think I'm alone now." No, doesn't I seem to be anyone alone. alone. <laughs> I think I'm alone now. <laughs> the beating of my heart is the only sound. Yeah, you got it. Oh, I bet she's lovely. <laughs> she is. Um, this should be on the uh, Asylum uh, replay or something. We could do musical for yes, the please. Asylum. <laughs> well, we're giving them the gift of, of song, really, if you think about it. <laughs> yep, and... Uh, I've always enjoyed you. I actually was just watching a, a match of you the other day. Um, well, you were at ringside, but um, I was watching uh, the lovely Lisa Marie Varen, a.k.a. Tara, and um, it's when she had poison and she handed it to you and you look like, I don't want this. <laughs> you know, Lisa has a lot of accessories. But like, why do I get stuck with that one? That's my question. <laughs> And then she like left ringside, and you're still holding. You're like, hey, I mean, come back here. <laughs> I remember like them. Pa 
passing around backstage, and I was like, I don't have to touch that, do I? Like, no, 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 no. And then it, she would hand it to me, and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't. Like, <laughs> I'm a friend of the animals. <laughs> like, that's, that, that's really pushing it. That's a lot. <laughs> You're like, no. But if you had a koala bear, that would be sure. better. <laughs> 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 if her mascot was like an adorable like corgi puppy or a chow chow all for it but that was not lisa's mo so thanks a lot lisa if you're watching <laughs> i was i was watching i go i bet val's like i don't want this i don't want this i don't want this <laughs> like <laughs> Dude, they're like they're like furry their little leg oh it makes me itch i'm sorry i'm sorry i know um, i used to work at a pet store and um i used to have to feed the tarantula and clean the uh cage and everything and like, I would have tweezers and I would grab like the little sponge and he'd be like oh. pulling it and I'd be pulling it and we'd have tug of war. Makes me itch a little bit. It's, it's, it's just, and listen, I know it's all of God's creatures. That's fabulous. Right. But out of all of God's creatures, that's one of the furriest, creepiest. Yeah. Again, <laughs> thanks a lot, Lisa. That's too much. <laughs> no, thanks. But yeah, um. I do. I think you're simply a national, or you are a wrestling treasure and very divine lady. So thank you so so much, Dan. You're you're an absolute national treasure, world ro- worldwide, or I would say global treasure, if you will. <laughs> and I really appreciate you so much. Thing is, like you you've been around God TV like since like the inception, and there's you have to understand we understand and we know all the people that were there for us in the beginning, and you were one of those guys. So we thank you so much for that. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I, I did a, a video, I it was like, let's see how this goes, you know? <laughs> and honestly, when, when you did the first one, we thought, like, that's so nice, you did one. And then when you kept doing it, like, oh, my God, this is going to be like a regular thing. How cool is this? And we kept retweeting. It was just so much fun. Yeah, I need to probably get back uh, into it now that I've moved. I've moved, like, two jobs since then, so, you know, and... Uh, I have my podcast now, so, you know, my hands are pretty tied, so. Yeah, it's time-consuming, isn't it? Podcasts and like, it, recording. It, and it is, but the thing is, is I'm pushing them for a greater future, so I don't mind that it takes my time. Yeah. Just like you push people, too. I mean, you ladies are so amazing and sophisticated, you know, that it's just amazing to just be in the presence, even in a virtual realm. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Yeah. You know, it's funny because like with a podcast or I'm just, oh, I'm going to start a podcast. Everyone has a podcast. Or right. in our case, like, you know, God TV is actually pretty visual. It's a YouTube show first and foremost. Right. And, you know, that's, that's why we love a theme. That's why we kind of ask who are you wearing? What are you drinking? Kind of thing. Because we want to have like a theme and a, you know, certain wardrobes and things. And, but yeah, it, it is a very time consuming thing. And it's not just like a, you know, you do it when you feel like it. It's a really, right. you know, we have to, you know, film for every Wednesday of every month. And with this being uh, almost June, where we're actually kicking off Pride Month, I can tell you right now, here is an exclusive. Thank you, Asylum Wrestling Store, for having me. Uh, as an exclusive, we have Coyo Del Mar, who's an amazing uh, manager of champions, who is oh, wow. a, yeah, he, he actually, he, he does uh, managing in drag. So as his character, Coyo Del Mar, mm-hmm. he is the manager of champions, the champion of managers, NWA, and many other places. And we really delve into what Pride Month is all about because that airs on June first. So the next one's going to be all about Pride Month. But as you said, it's 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 a it's a labor of love, but it is time consuming, you know, as you know. Oh, oh yeah, I already have eight to nine guests booked for June. So wow, good for you! <laughs> Yay! But uh, I think I had the the one picture today. Tell you which, what which photo do you oh there's david all right yeah, the up close one which is uh pa, 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 I'm, there it is thank you chef Ooh, you la, 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 la. and david. she's also doing a david. special for you sir if you want and this was on her or if you want to get a kiss card she'll do one for you just for 10 extra dollars you know what um it is that time of a wonderful season, and uh, this is probably some of my favorite stuff, so let's treat myself and get one of those, too. Treat <laughs> yourself. Treat yourself. Well, Dan, I don't want to be worried about it, but listen, if this was your cheek, imagine this was your cheek, I'm going to kiss it like that. There we go. Am I sending it to Dan the man? Of course, please. Lovely. <laughs> and how about the photo? Would you like it to Dan the man as well? Yes. They love so cowbell. Uh, David, I'm going to meet the 90s uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle voice actors tomorrow. So. Wow. Oh, that's great. I, I'm yeah. Do you want to 
Sorry, David. Do you want a lip print on the on the photo as well, Dan? If you want. That's fine. Sure. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> that's a hundred dollars, Dan. Okay. <laughs> it's only gonna be In inflation, lady. <laughs> Imagine if I did it, and then we were like, "Oh, that's gonna be," you know, yeah. No, I'm going to do it, man. <laughs> That's all right. Dan, you know, hey Dan, can, can, I, can totally I do a Rihanna quote? <laughs> can I do a Rihanna quote and say, please don't stop the music? Yes, of course. You get it? Please don't yes. stop the music. the music. And Dan, when I pack this up, I'll send your other two 8x10s with it as well. We need to pick one replacement for you. Okay. So we'll send some pictures of what we have, and you can pick one from those. All righty. I just can't for you. the life of me find it. <laughs> You'll yep. get what it means, Dan, because that means we love your melodies and we want you to know that we really appreciate that. So I wrote, Thank you. You're Dan the man, please don't stop the music. <laughs> a fabulous kiss friend. And uh, yes, and a wow. little kiss, kiss quad. Kiss quad. Thank you. <laughs> I got really New York on you. Kiss quad, Jewel. Like, don't worry about it, Jewel. <laughs> this, is to, this is to Dan the man, Jewel. Of course. <laughs> of course. Thanks for coming in, Dan. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dan, our musical master. We love you. All right. See Thank you, Dan. You. Take care. Dan, I'll tell the girls I saw you. They're going to be so jealous. Love you. <laughs> they know Dan the man very well. All right. We have Brian up next. He got all four of those eight buttons. Ooh. 